All done with Clanker's Cavern. Let's get the hell out of here. But, uh, we gotta stay in this swamp-ass room until we get the next level unlocked. So let's, let's get this over with. Screw this. Hey, Banjo. Now, uh, the next level is Bubble Goop Swamp. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty good level. I like it a lot. I'm Brentilda. She is, um, she is almost absolutely worthless. Brentilda gives you three little, like, uh, how do you say, three little tips, three little fun facts, I guess, yeah, fun facts, about, uh, Brunty, Brentilda. And then, uh, you don't need those fun facts until... Uh, the last part of the game, which is a quiz show. But screw that! I never studied for any tests. Why do you th why am I, why do you think I'm not in school? Like, come on. <laughs> I'll still get an A. All right, so we have 25 puzzle pieces, and we needed seven. I can probably just unlock the next like three worlds and. Get it over with. But no, 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 that's not how we're gonna do this. We gotta go to Bubble Goop Swamp. Got a little mumbo guy there, he's so cute. Little mumbo creature you'll see. He's so cute. There's a little fun mini game in there that they even brought back in Banjo Tooie. It was kind of fun. But let's head there. Bye, Clanker. You're a piece of shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's let's unlock Ding Pot first. There's a there's a bunch of these Ding Pots everywhere. They're all like little Ding Pot relatives. And they're just for fast traveling in the open world. I think I actually forgot about the first one in the first room. It's not. It's not that important right now. <laughs> he, he's so unimportant, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna go get him now, actually. Just smash Grunty's eyeballs. Woo! Go, huh? Yeah, let's just get Dangpot now. Screw it. Can't fast travel anywhere because don't have the same color of any of them. That was a that was a pro move right there. Did you see that? I knew that was back there. <laughs> Gotta love how Banjo uses stairs. Just mauls his feet into the stairs and magically launches up. It's a great game. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't critique it. Oh god the fish. Fuck him up! Oh, okay. I can't remember how the music goes for this place, but you get uh, you get one new move out of Bubble Gump. <laughs> Bubble Gump. <laughs> this is a uh, oh god, get out of here, Cinderella. This is a uh, Tom Hanks's new movie, uh, Bubble Gump Swamp. It's, uh, it features his new shrimp boating location that wound up in a swamp. Um, the shrimp are nuclear waste inhabited. Shrimp. They're actually uh, jumbo size. And, uh, yeah, it's not actually Bubblegum Swamp. Whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah, they used the, they used the frog ribbits to 
beat the music. It's awesome. <laughs> Screaming frogs. Oh no. Hey, bottles. I'm back, baby. Oh my god. Someone should warn Tom Hanks. Those aren't shrimp in the water, those are piranhas. They don't make a good meal at all. So I also, uh, I started one of the games that I said I would. I, uh, I started Dead Rising 2. I think I'm gonna actually go and do Dead Rising 1 and record that. And then upload the Dead Rising 2 playthrough. Because that just seems silly to do 2 and then 1. But one is really hard, and and two posed a problem. I uh I had to do some leveling off screen with a friend on co-op, and we got to like level twenty something, and then we started recording. So look out for that. But that took some time. That uh, that game's really hard if you start at level one. You you basically you can't move fast. Oh. Banjo, you gotta stay out of there. This is piranha water. You keep your smelly feet out. Swamp smells like ass, but keep your smelly feet out. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the move speed in Dead Rising 2, if you don't level up, is basically, basically crawling. You, you uh, you need, a, like, a wheelchair to go faster. But then as you level up, you, you get more melee damage and speed increase and yeah so we leveled up just to make the video a little more interesting than a one mile an hour run this part uh this part's kind of tricky if i remember right that uh puzzle piece shaped block on the ground at the beginning of the ramp you gotta run through this real quick and it gets really, gets really dodgy on this next strip over here. Yeah, this, uh, the camera kind of screws with you here. Oh, see? 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 <laughs> it's very, uh, it's very nerve-wracking, but let's try it. Let's do it. How much time we got? 45 seconds? Oh, alright, that's uh, that's a lot easier than I remembered. Never mind. I probably don't even need to talent trot through this thing. Probably could have just walked. Not like the Clanker's Cavern tri time trial that I completely screwed up. Yeah, 21 seconds left, Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> I love how the frogs scream when you kill them. It's kind of it's kind of disturbing. This will probably be a two-parter level 2. Uh, not not many levels are going to be one parts anymore. One part. Wow. Okay. Yep. Good job, Zuby. A swing and a miss. There you go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll clear up a couple collectibles. Probably get one more puzzle piece and call it an episode. Just for the record, uh, I want to remind you guys every episode that I have not died. I will not die. Uh, let's make Banjo great again. <laughs> I started with a, uh, a small investment of five lives, and I needed none of them. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I know what puzzle piece I'll do last. I'll do a. Uh, I'll do the little battle arena of frogs, and then I'll call it an episode. You're an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. I, I, I wasn't, I don't, oh boy. Okay, bad start, bad start. I didn't think they would come right at me. I think you gotta kill six of them. Oh, oh that was close. You know, if they didn't give you health after each one, this would probably be hard, but this is not hard at all. He's the last guy. Get! Slam. Blub. You're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next Banjo episode. Bye.